Hi. Now, what we have here is a question then on velocity vectors. And uh, you might like to uh, try this if you haven't tried it already. Give you a moment to uh, pause the video. What I'll do is just read it through though. What we've got here is uh, in this question, i and j are horizontal unit vectors due east and due north respectively. And position vectors are given with respect to a fixed origin. A ship sets sail at 9 a.m. from a port P and moves with a constant velocity. The position vector of P is 4i minus 8j kilometers. And at 9.30 a.m. the ship is at a point with position vector i minus 4j kilometers. And what we've got to do in part A is find the speed of the ship in kilometers per hour. And then in part B we've got to show that the position vector r kilometers of the ship t hours after 9 a.m. is given by r equals 4 minus 6 ti plus 8t minus 8j. Okay, so uh, let's see how we go about it. Well, first of all, what I'd want to do is draw a sketch. And uh, we'll have, say, the origin, first of all. You can put it anywhere, but I'll just say we'll put it here then. Okay, so if we have that as the origin, then we're told that at 9 a.m. we've got this port P and it has a position vector of P is 4i minus 8j kilometers. Now we know that or we're told that uh, i is a unit vector due east okay and j is a unit vector due north. If I mark those in we're saying something like this. Let's just put this up here okay we've got i that way and we've got j that way okay now if i'm going to go to our port p which is 4i minus 8j four units across eight units down let's say that we assume it's there so i'm going to mark that in as the point p i'm going to give it just the coordinates that will be four across Eight down so 4 minus 8 and that is where our ship is at 9 a.m. so we'll just put that as 0900 hours all right then we're told that at 9 30 a.m. the ship is at the point with position vector i minus 4j so if we go one across four down let's say we're at this point here okay and that's the point, I'll call that point A, say, and we'll say that's 1 minus 4 as far as coordinates go. And the ship is there at 0930. Okay? Right, so that means our ship is moving off in this direction. Okay, something like this. From here, it's just moving along on a line, something like that. Now to get the speed of the ship in kilometers per hour, what I need to do is find out what the velocity is. And speed, remember, is the magnitude of velocity. And to get velocity, velocity is equal to the change in position. The ship has gone from P to A. So I need to look at what this vector is from P to A. And to go from P to A, you could actually see it from the diagram here, that you're going to go that way and then up. You're going to, it's going to be 1 minus 4, which is going to be 3 units to the left, negative 3. And then you've got minus 4, minus, minus 8, which is 4 units upwards. So essentially, when you want to find the vector P to A, it is the vector O to A minus O to P. Okay, the position vector of A minus the position vector of P. And that is divided by the time taken. So O to A, if we write it as a vector, is going to be I minus 4J. And from that, we subtract O to P, which is the vector 4I minus 8j and we're dividing this by the time taken which is half an hour going from nine o'clock to nine thirty 
So if we work this out, we've got i minus 4i, which is minus 3i, and then minus 4j minus minus 8j, which is going to be plus 4j. And all of this is divided by a half. And if you divide this by a half, you end up with minus 6i plus 8j. Now that's the velocity in kilometers per hour. Okay, that's the velocity vector. But we want the speed, we want the magnitude of this vector. And we should be familiar with the fact that to find the magnitude of a vector, all we need to do is do essentially Pythagoras' theorem. That is, do the square root of the sum of the squares of the components. So that's going to be 6 squared plus 8 squared. We don't need the negative in here, okay? Just the magnitudes of these values here. And this is 36, this is 64, that comes to 100. Square root of 100 is 10. So that's going to be 10 kilometers per hour for the speed, okay? Now, in part B, it says show that the position vector of R of the ship t hours after 9 a.m. is given by this vector here. Now we know the ship is going along this path here. And so after t hours, it's going to be at some point along here. Let's just suppose it was, say, up here. Then this would be our position vector r at some time t. Now, how do I get that? Well, essentially, we should be familiar with the idea that the position vector r okay, is equal to O to P, you always go to the starting position, so that's O to P, which is going to be 4i minus 8j, 4i minus 8j. So as you go to the starting position, and then you do plus t times the velocity vector. Okay, now that velocity vector is going to be a vector. I could, I could even draw it in. Okay, it's going to be, say, something like this. Okay, if I did minus 6i plus 8j, let's pretend that that is that velocity vector. So you've gone to the starting point. After one hour, you'd be, say, here. After two hours, you'd be twice this amount of the vector. I could even move it along like this, okay? You'd be there. Two hours, three hours later, you'd be further up here, and so on. So if I just take that back to there, we can see that after t hours, you've got to go t times that velocity vector. So we can put in here that this is going to be t times minus 6i plus 8j. And if we simplify this, if we gather the i components together, you'll see that we have got 4 minus 6t in the i direction. So that gives us that part, 4 minus 6t in the i direction. And similarly, if we look at the j components, we've got here plus 8t minus 8, 8t minus 8 in the j direction. So just pop that in there, 8t minus 8 in the j direction. Okay, so I hope this gives you an idea then how we go about these two parts.